principal of those who live in medical high school. I will be your MC for this evening. As we settle in, I just want to say how beautiful it is that we've gathered to celebrate our loved ones on the graduation day, and that each of you are here to celebrate your graduate, and that others are here to celebrate theirs as well, so let's please be considerate of each other throughout the evening. Thank you very much. To begin, we will have Miss Rosalie Chris sing the national anthem. People in the audience, if you are able, please stand.
if you would please remain standing, Ms. Ariana Amin will come up for the Pledge of Allegiance. Graduates and guests, if you can please place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. For your official welcome and introduction, Principal Karen Clark. Good evening, everybody. Just sit down a little bit here. I would first like to welcome some of our distinguished guests that have joined us tonight. Um, not with us, um, but uh, sending his regards is our board president, Dr. Clyde Lewis, school board president. Present tonight is Trustee Gary Hack. He's over here, waving a hand to you. Also with us this evening is Trustee Antonio Hernandez, who is a former Dozier Living Medical High School graduate. <laughs> Trustee Dr. Jad Lathan could not be with us this evening either, but present tonight with us is Trustee Mary Rocha. I'd also like to give a shout out to our superintendent, Stephanie Anello. And back here running our live stream from our cabinet member, Lindsay Wisely, is director of secondary education. She is a jack of all trades. And at this time, I would like to have Antonio Hernandez come to share opening remarks. Yeah, go ahead and sit down. <laughs> it's a great day to be back at Dozer Libby Medical High School, but it's an even better day to be graduating from Dozer Libby Medical High School. <laughs> I'm excited to be here among the pioneers, the trailblazers, the change makers, because you're all here today because you chose to be here, or your guardians, but you made the choice to come to this high school to get this unique immersion into the world of healthcare. And so whether your time here has solidified that passion for healthcare, or whether you decided that maybe healthcare is not the field for you, I know that DLMHS has instilled in you the core value of healthcare, which is service to others. Today, I want to leave you with a message that I know Dozer Libby has prepared you to understand, a message of radical hope. Like many of you, I grew up here in Antioch, in a low-income immigrant household. My parents worked fast food jobs. My dad, a dishwasher at Red Lobster, and my mom, a fry cook at Jack in the Box. I went to Marsh Elementary School, Antioch Middle School, and I graduated from Dozer Libby Medical High School as part of the class of 2012, the first graduating class of Dozer Libby Medical High School. I remember sitting there where you are, People telling me about how fun and exciting my future was going to be and how great college was going to be. But it wasn't. I struggled a lot. I was the first in my family to attend a four-year university. I was studying economics and biology at Stanford, and many of my classmates grew up in very wealthy, affluent families and lived lives that I just didn't understand. I didn't want anyone to think that I wasn't smart. So when I had to retake chemistry, I put my head down and I worked harder. And then I had to retake organic chemistry. And I put down my head and I worked harder. And then when I failed biology, I knew this wasn't working. So I quit. I stopped trying to become a doctor and focused on my degree in economics. I remember feeling such shame about this decision. But I was determined to make the best of the situation. So I did the only thing I hadn't done. I asked for help. I made more friends. I built a stronger support system. In fact, I built such a powerful support system that by the time that I graduated, I started to feel like maybe I could become a doctor. I didn't think that I had the skills to succeed in that, 
But once I started asking for help, I knew that I could do it. And if it wasn't for these struggles, I don't know if I ever would have reached that point to develop the skills to ask for help and to realize how to use my resources. That's radical hope. The idea that we can find the good and the possibility for change, even on our hardest days. It was only through that radical hope that I was able to be the first in my family to go to a four-year university and graduate from Stanford University. The radical hope I'm able to pursue my doctorate in medicine at the UC Davis School of Medicine. And through radical hope, I am able to serve you as an elected school board member. I am the first and only person in this country's history to serve as both a medical student and a local elected official. And all of this is only possible because of the struggles that I went through. And that's radical hope. And I know that all of you here before me know what it means to believe in radical hope more than anyone. Because for your two years in high school, you persevered through a global pandemic. You pushed through Zoom classes. You were disconnected from your classmates. You saw the lives of millions of people taken by COVID-19. But within this tragedy, there was radical hope. Suddenly, we were able to work remotely. We had greater access to computers and hotspots. An accessible world became possible. Something that people said would always take time. You all saw the world change overnight. You saw your world change overnight. You saw that change is possible now. You're the first generation to see change happen overnight in front of your very own eyes. You know that change doesn't take time. It isn't something we have to wait for. That's powerful. That's radical hope. And as you continue your next adventure, I challenge you to continue to find the radical hope in your life to dream about what's possible, to never let anyone tell you that doing the right thing takes time, and to demand change that this world deserves. Graduates, you're the most powerful people in this room tonight. And if you believe in radical hope that you can make change, I need you to stand up right now. Dozier Libby Medical High School, class of 2023. I'm so honored to see who you are today, but honestly, I'm so much more excited to keep, see who you will become. Thank you. You can go ahead and be seated. Thank you, Trustee Hernandez. Please welcome commencement speaker, Brianna Galindo. Teachers, Doja Libby class of 2023, and all the loved ones here tonight, I want to start off by saying that today is an ending, but also a beginning. It is a celebration for all of our accomplishments, and a congratulations for all the hard work and effort that we have put into our education these past four years. It is honestly the day we have all been waiting for. Today we sit here in the presence of friends, family, and loved ones, all with four years worth of memories that began freshman year, where we all remember the two-week spring break excitement that turned into that 18 long month experiment in COVID learning. We went from daily scrub checks to awkward breakout rooms, from talking in person all the time to hour-long FaceTimes. And overall, it was just a cruel, a cruel and brutal time where many of us were lonely and a lot of us were grieving. But it was also a time where a lot of us learned valuable lessons. We learned to adapt to a new way of learning to be creative with our group project, to value and appreciate each other, to be resilient, brave, flexible, and to stay strong in times of uncertainty. When junior, yang, when junior year came around, it definitely felt odd to be back. Our new norm of learning was through masks and behind plastic shields that constantly toppled over. But we also rekindled distant friendships and with time became more connected. We all shared the stress 
from our first big integrated project, Night at the Medical Museum, which was in person, and studying for physio physiology finals all night long. And now with senior year, with our Becoming and Be the Change project, many of us had the courage to be honest, vulnerable, and brave with the peers around us. Now, four years ago, many of us walked into Dojo Living nervous, unsure, and not knowing what to expect. We were the lowest of low, freshmen. But as we worked our way up that hierarchy, that fear slowly started, that fear slowly started to leave us, and our confidence started to grow. Class of 2023, in these past four years, we all grew as individuals and became the seniors. Seniors who now knew every crack and corner of what it meant to be a student here at Dojo Libby Medical High School. We embraced the values and attributes that were instilled to us from the very beginning and learned to use those values and attributes to attack challenges in a positive way. Patience, adaptability, compassion, and positivity were some of the many lessons learned during 10th grade and quarantine. Although our time in high school Excuse me. Although our time in high school was unique, we practiced and mastered our vitals in every single assignment we ever received, which for non Dojo Louis Medical High School students means where we strengthen our verbal, intellectual, technological, and academic and leadership skills. We learned how to dress professionally, to balance demanding workloads with our outside lives. Dojo Louis prepared us with the tools that we will need to navigate the next step of our lives no matter what chapter we choose. So I say, let the obstacles that we overcame during high school, whether personal or as a class, be our motivators to overcome others to come. Let our experiences lead to future lessons, but most of all, let these four years be the foundation of all that we can do and all that we are capable of. Let it be the tip of the iceberg for all our future successes. So seniors, Congratulations for all the accomplishments at Dojo Libby Medical High School. I am proud of you all and I have confidence that no matter what our, no matter where our future guides us, we will continue to persevere, to chase our ambitions, and to become the change makers for a better and more empathetic future. Now to the loved ones, friends, and teachers here today, thank you for all your support and cheering us on along the way. Today definitely would not have been possible without any of you all. And lastly, to the class of 2023, when we turn over our tassels tonight, I want that to be a symbol that represents all the obstacles that we overcame during our four years in high school. And I want it to be the beginning of our next chapter on where our future takes us. Thank you. Thank you, Brianna. for the presentation of the class of 2023, Principal Karen Clark. There's definitely, in listening to the other two speeches, some uh, themes that I'm seeing from uh, Mr. Hernandez and our student speaker talking about resilience and compassion and perseverance. So um, I will begin my speech. Good evening, board members, distinguished guests, faculty, parents, most importantly, the 2023 graduating class of Dojo Living Medical High School. Today is filled with excitement, joy, and pride as we gather here to celebrate the culmination of four years of hard work, dedication, and growth. It is an honor to stand before you as we reflect on the challenges that you've overcome, and we look forward to the journey that awaits you beyond these walls. When you entered Dojo Living Medical High School, you knew you were embarking on a unique educational path, choosing a high school with a focus on health and patient care. From the very beginning, you were faced with unique challenges that stretched you academically, emotionally, and mentally. In March of 2020, our lives were dramatically disrupted when the world came to a halt. The pandemic forced us to lock down, and we found ourselves navigating uncharted territory, distance learning. The familiar halls of your freshman year stood empty, and your classrooms were replaced 
to virtual platforms and online resources. The abrupt shift was disorienting. The challenges you faced during the COVID-19 pandemic have forever shaped all of us. In the face of this challenge, you exhibited tremendous resilience. You adapted to a new normal, embracing technology as our ally as you forced, forged ahead with determination. We all overcame technical difficulties and discovered a newfound discipline in managing your own time. You were no longer tied to a bell schedule. Your teachers and parents became your allies, guiding you through virtual landscape and providing unwavering support. And together, we conquered many, many obstacles. 17 months after separating, in August of 21, we were granted the opportunity to return to in-person learning. Stepping back onto the grounds of the school, we, myself included, were filled with a mix of emotions, excitement, apprehension, and gratitude. We realized that the face of human, the significance of human connection and the value of face-to-face -face interaction. As you prepare to step beyond the world of high school, it is our hope that Dozier Living Medical High School has instilled the importance of compassion, empathy, and understanding. The very quality that will define your success in navigating the complex world of healthcare or any other profession. As you enter the world beyond high school, remember to prioritize your own well-being. Care for yourself, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Practice that self-care to ensure that you will have the strength and the resilience to make a change in our world for the years to come. Be the change. Congratulations, graduates of Dover Dozier Living Medical High School. The future is yours to shape. Go forward with compassion, excellence, and an unwavering commitment to whatever your future goals may hold. Let's give a round to the class of 2023. I would now like our superintendent, Stephanie Anello, to come forward to accept the class of 2023. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Can, graduates, can we please have a round of applause for your families and loved ones who have brought you to where you are today? On behalf of the Antioch Unified School District, it's my distinct honor to accept the 2023 graduating class from Dozier Libby Medical High School. <laughs> Upon the recommendation of the faculty and on behalf of the Antioch Unified School District Board of Education, I certify that each of you has completed the graduation requirements set forth by the Antioch Unified School District and the State of California. <laughs> Having completed these requirements, I confer upon each of you the high school diploma with all of its rights, honors, and responsibilities. Henceforth, you are to be considered high school graduates and alumni of Dozier Libby Medical <laughs> High School. Congratulations. Thank you, Superintendent Anello. And now for the presentation of the diplomas, again, Principal Karen Clark. Hey, I am officially presenting the class of 2023. Vice Principal Mark Libby will now read the names, and this will go off perfectly as we practiced yesterday. Thank you. Honor Guard, please take your position.
First row, please stand. Lincoln Hadley Adams. <laughs> Sanaya Sabrina Malini Maka. <laughs> Angel Adriano. Adriana Aguilar. Ruby Alejandra Aguilar. Amina Farhad Akhmadi. Victoria Hayel Omara. Class of 2023 Valedictorian Amy Elizabeth Alvin. Rihanna Leela Alexis. Mohammed Arif Mohammed Ali. Kimberly Alvarez. Dominic Mateo Amezcua. Ariana Sharaf Amin. Monija Azizi. Zamara Barreto Alizade. The group sing Bossy. <laughs> Mia Ann Marie Bishop. Adrian Orlando Blake. Oninescu Princess Boardman. Brianna Galindo. Jacqueline Brioni. Wyatt Davis Buckner Calduti. Faith Christine Burke. Linda Esther Busto. <laughs> Jewel Divine Butler Chowder. <laughs> Lauren Grace Cadillion. <laughs> Daniel Campos. <laughs> Stephen 
Isabella Ophelia Carnero. Christian Angelo Torres Castro. Zoe Madison King. Ebony Chavez. Frankie Cordero. Kalia Marie Kaut Gadir. Rosalie Diane Chris. Lauren Almas Dapien. Aluji Victoria Ogbona. Edward Minsu Cho. Aaron Levante Clark. Vanessa Gata. Jayla Joyce Dunn. Melissa Jogi. Tristan Abigail Espinosa. Joy Amaratiku Ezebe. Victoria Chineze Ezebe. Julio Cesar Fernandez Godinez. Patrick Imada Garcia. Sean Errol Palagón Geraldo. Mackenzie Rosalind Lee Glenn. Julio Gonzalez Zavala. Ariva Zainab Gold. Jasmine Isabel Gutierrez. Soliana Borhane Hadera. Armand Singh Harbon. Saeed Salimon Hashimi. Carte Tiara Rene Hatfield. Ruth Jennifer Theodora Henry. Nathaniel Rojas Hernandez. Gabriela Hidalgo. Annika Meglamot Ihara. Mercy Lynn Hurst. Emily Elizabeth Jackson. Loche O'Neill Johnson. Jordan Elizabeth Johnston. Juliana Nadia Wattis. Sutney Cox. Aman Mohammed Khan. Johanna Nordanon Lapizari. 
Danielle Chloe Lee. Class of 2023, salutatorian Tyson J. Lee. Derek Alexander Leon. Malaya Anise Lewis. Hope Madison Locker. Vanessa Ray Galazario Lopez. Liz Janine Lopez Mesa. Emily Crystal Mata Contreras. Melanie Paulette Magallanes Onesto. Guayana Del Carrera Manuel. Kalila Maxine Marie Martinez. Emma Grace Mowry. Soraya Sade Latif McDowell. Jordan Ann Marie Lee. Elisa Paola Mejia. Eric Mejia. Roxana Mejia. <laughs> Stephanie Mendoza. <laughs> William Gabriel Mendoza. <laughs> Atiana Ilona Ken McCree. <laughs> Sarah Jacqueline Morales. Adriana Murgi. <laughs> Elena Lisa Donegan. <laughs> Liana Abraham Nigi. <laughs> Arturo Isaiah Negrete Martinez. <laughs> Daniel Akenya Robertson. Madeline Jane Olavita. Kikadili Ruth Oyayama. Raquel Stephanie Ortiz. Angel Dario Pacheco. Tanisha Julia Salentine Caramel. Maria Aria Eliza Palea. Sandy Perez. Mario Perez Garcia. Jahan Lamar Anton Petri. Nigel Ezekiel Ivory Rabin. Angel Ramos. Emily Esther Ramos. Kenneth Gary Ray. Angelo Kasuga Ray. Leilani Anaya Richardson. Antonio Andres Rio. Joseph Lawrence Alfredo Rizzo. 
Lydia Marie Rocha. Sharon Rojas Gomez. Matthew Michael Royce. Gabriel Andres Sanchez. Umberto Sanchez Castillo. Sierra Jimena Sanchez Servant. Annabella Sandoval. Kyla Camille Bautista Santos. Devin Olivia Sheringer. Iris Serrano Flores. Alana Lee Shaw. Alexa Shazan. Kaylee Shane Shivers. Alani Francesa Feliz. Savante Yahamel Taylor. Brian Gabriel Theodore Tavosio. Mia Elizabeth Turner. Abidia Abasi Uko. Salvador Velasquez. Fatima Ventus. Salaha Rima Wahidi. Mitra Waziri. Jadaria Louise Barbara Jean Rock. Tamari Jaden Williams. Ava Pavan Young. Tane Gia Wood. To certify the class of 2023, Principal Karen Clark. Congratulations. Um, class of 2023, can we get one more loud round of applause for you guys? I'm going to call forward Sanaya Maka, our senior class president, to do the turning of the tassel. Come on up, Sanaya. <laughs> to signify our diligence, dedication, and the support that guided us here, I want us to officially begin our journey to the, our future successes. Class 2023, please stand. All right, guys. Turn your castle from the right to the left. We will need people to clear the aisles so that the graduates can leave, so if you could please clear these aisles on the side.
folks in the crowd, please watch your steps carefully. It's getting a little dark. Please give assistance to each other as we exit the amphitheater. Okay? Graduates, you may exit. Again, please be safe as we leave the amphitheater. Be careful on the stairs. Be of service to each other, please. Please be safe.